the next project I'm going to do is actually add some outlets to the garage and I have 10 outlets in the garage on one 20 amp circuit so I'm going to have to remove a couple of outlets to add outlets because you can't have any more than 10 50 amp outlets in a, in a circuit on a 20 amp fuse so I'm going to have to remove some and add a few more um, so my plan is to add two more outlets to this wall here and an uh, outlet to the outside of the garage so I'm going to have to remove three outlets within the garage to make that happen. So you'll notice on this part of the wall I have one outlet here um, but when we come around the garage wall here there's no outlets. Um, there's a switch for the exhaust fan on the extreme left uh, which I'm pointing to but um, other than that I would like an outlet somewhere on this wall. I'm going to probably pick a uh, location here and start um, actually mounting the box to that location. I'm putting this box here. Uh, I'm going to have to put the wires going into here. So what I'm going to do possibly is mark some uh, mark some holes where I need to make the holes. I'm going to say probably here, probably here. Um, I use a half inch drill bit. Um, ideally you want to use a 5 8 but the 5 8 is harder to work with so I'm going to use a half inch drill bit. When you do this you got to be careful there are a lot of nails on here. You don't want to get your hands too close to the nails while you're drilling. Now we can go ahead and install the, uh, the outlet. For this one, do not use a screwdriver, use a socket head. Okay, it's kind of firmly in place. I need to create a little opening on top for the wire. This is what I plan to use. A small flat head, you don't want to use a big one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically put my screwdriver here and tap it with my mallet and create a little indentation here. You don't want a lot of space, you just want the wire to fit in here and I'm going to make that opening right now. You see the opening I made? It's pretty small, just enough for a wire to go through. If you make it too large then the box becomes useless, you have to replace it. I'm going to have to untwist it and that takes a lot of effort. So I'm going to have to straighten out this wire as it comes from the reel. So I think there's enough to go in here and come out. You need at least three inches sticking out. So I think that should be enough. So just to show you what I did, I have the switch box there. I have the wire going all the way to that particular outlet where I will actually make the connection through the, through the studs. Kind of see that and I'll make the connection here too. And then I will have to remove, um, I probably won't remove that outlet, I'm going to have to remove this outlet, um, this one here, um, because we can have only 10 outlets per, um, per 20 amp circuit. So I'm going to actually cut the, uh, cut the wire longer than I think I need it. Because once I cut it, And then we're going to do the usual things that you do with uh, wires. The next thing I'm going to do is to actually push this through the little opening here. So we have the three wires. So what I do, uh, it's always good to have a needle nose plier for this one. I usually connect the ground wire first. So for the ground wire, you need to connect it to this particular green screw here. So I would twist. This would go like this. So I'm going to twist this upward. See that loop I created right there? And 
put this right on there. Even nicer would be to twist this a little more than it's needed and then loop it right around there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to tighten this. Uh, the next thing you want to do on the back of the switch you can see one side says white. You can't really see it on the camera, but this side says white, the other side is blank. So the white neutral wire goes on this side. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to twist the wire here. Um, so I have this wire twisted. I'm going to have to loosen this. I was in the store. I didn't realize I was buying a non-grounded outlet, and that was a mistake. And that's tight. You want to do the same thing for the other side. You want to again twist the black wire in the direction you're going to tighten. So in this case, it's going to be tightened this way, so you're going to twist the wire the other way, or the same direction as the tightening. Now I just have to loosen this up. Got to loosen it up enough to fit this wire around it, and then push it, push it snug. Usually loosen it as far as you can go, and then use a pair of pliers to push it in place, kind of lock it in place. Needle nose pliers is what I recommend. So that's now pushed in place. You see that? Right there. I'm going to try and twist this so you can see that. And then you tighten it down. Now, the only other thing you need to do is to put these screws. Looks like I don't have the screws for this. If the hole gets too big here, they might have some kind of sealants you can use seal the hole. I might put some sealant here because it's opened up a little more than I really want it to. I actually shut down the power to this outlet. I actually checked it um, to make sure there's no power. But I'm going to have to disconnect this outlet because I'm adding a new outlet. And like I said, I can only have 10 15 amp um, outlets on one 20 amp circuit. So I'm going to have to remove an outlet to add an outlet. And I'm going to have to do that two more times because I'm adding two more outlets around the garage. I have white wires coming into here. I'm going to remove the grounded wire. You loosen it, and we're going to pull this apart. I'm going to have to do the same thing for the blue wires. I mean, sorry, the black wires. Okay, now I'm going to have to straighten out these wires. I'm going to kind of twist these together and use green for the ground. Now I'm going to have to straighten out the other wires. These wires are kind of long, so this one's kind of short. I'm going to use a yellow for the white wires. Good. This will stay together. One minute. Gonna work on this. This black connector should work. Now I'm gonna push. I put the 
tape on the black wire. I'm going to push this into the box. And then I have a cover for this that I'm going to use. So now I'm at the outlet where I'm going to connect it to the wire that we installed earlier. Um, now this is a metal box, so I need to put one of these um, in here to secure the wire. So then we insert it into the box and then bend it and bring it out. And I'm going to have to actually use this lock nut and secure this wire. Just make sure that the screws, I'm going to try and show you this, the screws that have to be facing where you can actually tighten it facing this way, this way actually, so you can get screwdriver in there and tighten it. But you're going to have to put this lock nut on here, so I think that's, that'll do it. So the lock nut's on there some debris in here that I'm going to try and wipe out. You also need to make sure before you tighten it, you want to make sure that these wires can be pushed back so you don't want too much slack. For the time being, I'm not going to tighten this until I'm sure that I can attach everything and push it back because I'm going to have to fit this, this outlet in here. So one of the first things I have to do is to get the ground wire connected. So well, these are the ground wires. There's there's a wire from the box. There's the wire coming from the from the other outlet. So I'm, I've actually wired this. I've wired um, a wire for the ground. I put the neutral neutral wires on. Remember, when you have a wire coming in from the top, you put the wire coming from the top on the top um, top screw. The wire coming from the bottom, which is a new wire I put in, I put it on the bottom screw. And make sure you route it. You want to turn it around the screw in the direction you're going to tighten. So I was going to tighten in this direction. So I loop it around in that direction and it makes it easier. Otherwise, when you try to tighten it, you're actually going to be loosening the uh, loop. The same thing here, I'm going to be tightening this way so the bottom wire goes on the bottom uh, bottom screw here. What I'm going to have to do is to take the screw out to make it fit because I have a loop there and the loop's not going to go around easy. And you got to be careful with these um, screws because the screws tend to fall down and get lost. So. I'm going to try and put this in. You got to press in and try to twist it in so it catches on the first few threads and then you can use a screwdriver. So what I do with these outlets generally is if I have an old outlet and I'm throwing it out, I take the screws from the outlet just in case I need extras and save it. And I do that for all outlets and switches and try to save what I can. What I'm trying to do here is to cut the wire underneath the screw. So loosen it up a little more. Make sure it's tucked in. My needle nose pliers. So we're looping it this way because I'm rotating the clockwise. So you have to loop it clockwise. Same thing with the top one. Uh, this one's kind of looped um, clockwise. I'm going to open this up a little bit so I can try and get it in around this. And then it helps to have needle nose pliers. I think this might be a little too long. I don't want exposed insulation. Uh, sitting like that, so I'm going to cut this short. 
a little bit off. We twist it around one more time. Kind of make a bigger loop. Fit it around this. And now twist, twist it in place. Okay, now this is good. So this should be okay. Now the, now the challenge here is going to be pushing all this back into this box. So I have several wires here that need to go with the wire nut. Let's push these. There are four, um, four grounding wires. One from the outlet itself, one from the box, and then two from the wires that I'm going to have to put together. Okay, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put some tape, some electrical tape, so none of this comes apart. No need to get stingy with this. So this is now the challenge, pushing it all back into the box. So I pulled these long wires from the top wire that was originally here. I think these are too long. To be able to get it into the box, I'm going to have to probably cut it short about here. You don't want uh, any longer than, and then fold them back into the box. So I'm going to cut it right here. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I'm going to have to strip the wires. See the light? Both have a light. So it shows that, uh, that the outlet is live. Other outlet. And check that too. So this one's got a light in it too. I'm going to plug this, plug this light into this um, outlet and see if it works. So I have a plug in there, turn on the light. So the light's working, the outlet's working. We have an outlet, I put the wire all, of the, all around to that particular outlet right there. I rewired it into that outlet. And then I also went around here to this particular outlet and took that out because every time you add an outlet, you need to take one out. If it has up to, like I said, a 20 ampere circuit must have um, only 10, 15 amp outlets.